je suis jerk. Et bienvenue au grand spectacle. It's hump day. And that means it's a day for love. And that means the language of love boats. Exciting and new. Well, new at least. We're a week and a half deep into the new world of carriers, and so far I've got to say they're boring. <laughs> if you like playing them, more power to you. But for me, it is just too passive. You know, I like my engagements like my relationships. Intense and brief with lots of fire. And carriers don't do that for me. But you know who does? Today's guest. And it's been a minute since they've been on the show. So many new ships coming out and patch notes and really just trying to not get too burnt out too quickly. But after I finally got around to opening the viewer mailbag and reading all the requests, we got them back for another appearance. Ladies and gentlemen, our very good friend, the Tech Tree Tier 7 French Heavy Cruiser, give it up for Charles Macron. Long-time viewers know I nuck for the chuck. We have a long history of going out on the seven seas and getting into all sorts of trouble, knocking back Vouvray, putting cheese on crackers, and just having a good old time with good company and great food. But the world of boats has changed, and the place for Charles is changing too. Its guns are still fabulous, and in the games I played this morning, I generally found it to perform quite well still. Nonetheless... I have changed things slightly on it, as you can see here, and I may end up changing them more, too, as I generally, I just feel spoiled by the new kid on the block, which we will get to soon. In this match, I decided I was going to try and play Charles like I do the Achikov, and see how it compares being a bit more in the front, and while Rue is probably the better option when you're going to do that, Thanks to the added agility and speed, I just don't feel like Chuck can dish out the damage as consistently with him in charge. Speaking of charge, <laughs> we have a Siegfried charging us in a questionable manner. Silly Siegfried tricks are for kids. Maybe if it had had AP loaded or... What in the world is this player's plan here? This is an arena. You don't just load into a game, yellow in for a kill and move on to the next. Torpedoes, Siegfried. You're eating torpedoes. Now they go ahead and eat those and, uh... Okay, maybe they are trying to ram me. I don't know. When you look at the torpedo indicator, it is specifying the center of their boat. So you don't have to get it on there to hit them. You'll see right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit him further to the back and turn because I know their torps are on the way. And... Get a sweet looking dodge there. Uh, but now I'm broadside. <laughs> which is a bad situation and one that I fortunately get through without taking too much damage right there. Right. So, let's discuss this new kid on the block, the Achikov. In my opinion, it is now the best tier 7 cruiser in the game, taking the shared crown from Charles and the Fresh Prince. Those two shared the crown because each was king of the hill when it came to their specialty. The prince was and is awesome up close and personal with amazing AP guns and is still the best torpedo boat in the game currently. And Charles's guns made it king at range for me with amazing AG and AP, able to work any ship, not to mention those great torpedo firing angles which made for some lulzy maneuvers. But the Achikov, it pretty much takes all of that and puts it into one ship. It's faster than the Charles, more agile too, has the 1 5th penetration HE with fast firing railguns and great AP too. Throw on long range fast torps, sonar, radar, better AA, and you can throw in the added bonus of being a narrow profile, which means who needs turtleback when you can just force overpins. All of that kind of leads me to say that I have been playing the Achikov quite a bit as of late because it is just so darn good. Much easier to carry a win in it than these other two, which again doesn't take away from their value, but man the power creep is real. 
I mentioned in my community post that I've requested my stats again purely because I want to see what my stats with Ochakov are after about 600,000 XP. And I asked on the CC Discord if the ship was overperforming because in my playing of it, the average XP and win rate feels like it is higher than anything else and by a long shot. And Fuligula replied, but I'll paraphrase, he said something to the effect of, in the right hands, sort of, but a lot of hands are left though, which made me laugh. So maybe it is just an outlier ship. Enough about that, let's talk about the game we're actually playing right now on Tears of the Desert, as I'm still caught up in the mix here. The Benson is behind me and my sonar is down, the Turpins and Fiji are in front of me, and while this isn't exactly Dutch door action yet, it could easily go that way. So first and foremost was getting rid of the Turpins, and while this Benson just blasting away on my side will add up quickly, the Fiji's AP could shred me like the worst lettuce, iceberg lettuce. But Chuck's AP, it ain't nothing to futz with. Chuck's AP ain't nothing to futz with. Chuck's AP ain't nothing to futz with. Remember that next time you're not shooting AP in it. All things considered, we're walking out of our spawn side with 120,000 damage, a whole buttload of ribbons, and about a third of our health. So not too shabby. But the Kraken Hunt... It hasn't begun yet, as I am just not seeing it on the minimap yet. Now, as usual with this map, we get to see why it's called Tears of the Desert, because once you win your side, you must cross all the way over to the other side for any action. Normally. But not this time. Because that Benson is still probably in their smoke and I, I really hate to harp on this but man if only the chuck were faster or had radar but it doesn't so we will push the smoke screen because our sonar is about to be ready and I'm still spotted huh that could be through the gap on the right well not much I can do except keep going this way our destroyer is heading around the pass, so we might have them be able to spot our next target. There they are. Get the bugger. Alright, that's our third ship sunk, but where are those torpedoes I know are coming? All right, do, we ha do we have any torpedo beat music? What are the torpedo beats? <laughs> Having succeeded, the torpedo beats the Kraken Lords are rewarding us with a beautiful sight. What appears to be an AFK broadside Fiji, so let's adjust ourselves and sit up straight because the Kraken hunt is on. The plan is to get this Fiji and the nearly dead Vladivostok, but if you've played Arena this season, you know everyone is just sitting there with their fingers on the trigger, waiting for you to take that first shot so they can secure the kill. But the DJ needs to play that song again because Chuck's AP ain't nothing to futz with. Chuck's AP ain't nothing to futz with. So now that that's gone, let's get back to our HE and show him how we yoink a kill from the south side. Never mind. Change of plans. Kagero pops up. And I am always going to go after the destroyer. Hush, little Kagero. I, too, understand how power creep makes you feel. Please accept these flaming roses as a gift from my outstretched arms. Kagero? Kagero, don't run. Why are you running? Why does everybody always run from their feelings? Take these feelings and love me. Kraken 226 in the Charles Martel. All right, let's have a look at the scoreboard. 3,540 XP for a very good game. Honestly, a stealthily good game there by our old pal Chuck. And a pretty decent showing by the blue team, but what the hell, red team? A real Pepe Le Pew. And that wraps it up for this one. If you two will always remember the French summer spent in the countryside with Chuck, give this video a like. 
If you have since moved on to the Berlin underground goth scene with Prinz, give it a dislike. Questions, comments, suggestions on how to not make this an Ochkov only channel, leave it down below. And maybe tickle the subscribe button if you're feeling frisky. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll get back out there for another one soon, and we'll talk then.